All right, people, welcome back. More DM Duel commentary. So we are joined by, once again, a new member joining the Tag Force. And uh, welcome to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Tier Draft League Season 2. You want to introduce yourself? Uh, it's Token Black Yu-Gi-Oh! Guy. Yu-Gi-Oh! Token Black Guy. And I'm here, man. No, 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 isn't there more? <laughs> I kind of said there's more. Well, can I? Yeah, yeah, of course. I don't care. Cut on my channel. Okay. I don't care. Good. It's Token Black Yu Gi Oh! Guy. Yu Gi Oh! Token Black Guy. I'm here. Another video. I cuss a lot. I say nigga a lot. If you don't like that, get the fuck out of here, my nigga. I'm going to do both of those things a lot. There you go. I was waiting for the whole thing. <laughs> like, can I say the whole thing? I yeah, sure. yeah. No, no, no. I, I, I don't care. <laughs> cuss on the channel. That is fine. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, Token Black Yu Gi Oh! Guy. Welcome. Yo, welcome. I'm ready. Like, this Cosmo game is getting pretty. Yeah, he kind of went off. He shuffled his entire hand, got a brand new hand, and just went off with it. It's like, all right. <laughs> yeah. Like, you can guess Straw Man. Oh, and he got the Dark Destroyer. That's awesome. Of course, Dark Destroyer. Oh, and extra deck monarchs. Of course. First, another stupid, like, uh, Pantheism, put my prime that I wanted in the graveyard, and then I'll draw two. <laughs> And then I'll go ahead and get a search and then plus one. See, I opened up with six, but now all of a sudden I have seven, because that's fair. <laughs> oh, that's stupid. I hate Monarchs. Oh, and I'm going to get three of the search card? Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, I guess I don't get a choice. <laughs> oh, my God, I can't stand Monarchs. I say Monarchs are my least favorite of the top tier decks. Facts. I hate Monarchs. Mm -hmm. So much. We got Shack Attack here at 1307. And falling fast at thirteen thirty eight, and this should be interesting. Uh, if you guys are wondering, both of these decks are in Yu Gi Oh! Tier Draft League Season Two, so that should be interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. They're, they're both Tier One, so you're only gonna get one point for winning with, with them. But I mean, they're strong nonetheless. Wow. So let me get this straight. You're gonna go ahead and add the tenacity, not play the tenacity, not search, and not summon a monarch. <laughs> like, all right. I guess you wanna go ahead and tag out. Oh no, catch this call of the hunted, boy. Catch this call of the hunted. All right, you feel Ooh. this change? You want to go ahead and read the clear? You can, but Landwalker would just go ahead and block and then destroy what? The Cosmo Town? So good. Like, uh, Cosmo. So, both of these decks plus so retardedly, it's just so dumb. That, it's just Yu Gi Oh! Every, every single time we play this game, it gets faster and faster. You cannot step away from this game for like a year. If you step away from this game for like a year, you're going to be lost because everything changes. <laughs> Uh, what the fuck just happened? All right, so I guess he stopped his attack because the field was changed. Went to main phase two and played the Monarch Stormforth, so I guess tribute his shit. And it doesn't look right. like Shark is going to respond to that because, of course, you cannot respond to the actual tribute summon uh, part. So they just go ahead and click yeah. a monster he would like to tribute. I mean, I, I'm kind of shocked that you kind of stopped your attacking when that tin can needs to get off the field. Like, that tin can needs to leave the field. <laughs> like... It's not a card that you just keep on the field. You mm -hmm. need to get rid of that. Please mm -hmm. get rid of that. Please. Because Tim, yeah, there you go. Because Tim can, they can, it's during either player's end phase. And you already know that's good. Yep. It's Erebus or Rebus or how do you say his name? Monarchs. I've been saying Erebus since it came out. Yeah. And Cosmos, I mean, they're good. I don't mind them. I'd say Cosmos are my favorite out of the meta deck. Because at least you got to put some effort into, into making the deck, to purchasing the deck. Freaking monarchs, just go to the grocery store, buy freaking three structure decks. There you go, go to town. It's like, all right, that's um, fair, I guess. <laughs> and then locking me out of my extra deck, you can eat a dick. Like, I, I, I want to play Yu Gi Oh too, man. My man, <laughs> you can't do shit. <laughs> Come on. I have a $500 deck, and I'm going to lose to $30 worth of cards because yep. I can't go into my extra deck. Yep. <laughs> so dumb. That's what Konami wants it to be. Yeah. Konami can do whatever Konami can do whatever the fuck they want and we're just gonna keep following them. Oh okay. yeah, good. Because we're we're bitch made like that. That's just that's not <laughs> yep. nothing but facts. <laughs> yep, go ahead and grab that, because you of course got the Ether and the Monarch Storm forth during your opponent's turn, because that's just mm. The Cosmos are good, but they are super susceptible to monarchs and super susceptible to Monarch Storm Forth and Erebus, it's just the struggle is bitch card. Yeah, some for it is a bitch card. I am starting to really just like the card. If it wasn't searchable, I probably wouldn't mind it, but it's just so goddamn searchable. Exactly. And it's fucking common. Like it's not hard to get in real life either. 
And it's just like, wow, you tribute my shit and it's not shit I can do about it. All right, you're just gonna go ahead and start doing your shenanigans now? Did he really have to go into think phase? Do you really have to think hard about this? No, you don't think hard, it's Monarchs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I bet you can't wait to face this deck in the league. <laughs> oh, fuck. I believe, I believe both the Monarchs for tier one have been chosen, so. That's, that sucks. Yeah, so go ahead. At least I don't have to play. I mean, I, I could play it. I could probably play it while sleeping, but I mean. Uh, yeah, and I think that's actually pretty bad too. You might get, you might be close to being stuck with barely anything because I believe that you're, I think you're second to last for choosing your deck, your two. Uh, weird. <laughs> it was weird. I I put the randomizer and they put you at the bottom t in both of them. I was like, no, 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 no. I'm gonna move you up to the top for the least <laughs> team selection. That's not fair, randomizer. That's racist. <laughs> ass randomizer you're using just puts me at the back of the bus yeah well, i i was totally thinking that when it happened i was like wow randomizer putting him at the back of the bus <laughs> race is at its finest i love it but at least the advantage of being at the bottom of tier one is that i go back up the list so you'll pick your tier one then i think someone's after you and then they'll pick their tier two and then it's right back to you for picking your tier two so that's the advantage yeah. of at least being at the bottom of the list. Because I'm not going to go back down the list. That wouldn't be fair. So I go down, up, and yeah. then I take everybody again, put them back in the randomizer, and then they choose their tier threes. Which I have a general one, idea of which one that you want to choose. As <laughs> long as I get my tier three deck, I am fine. Yeah. I know exactly what I want it to be. And if you guys go watch my channel, you'll probably figure it out too. <laughs> no, I, I, I know what it is. It won't be. It won't be hard to figure it out. You could literally like watch one of my videos and you'll know. Oh, what? That well, wasn't the first duel. I guess. No, the duel he won the whole match because Shark and... quit. I guess he just left. Like, I guess he disconnected or what? Wow. That I was... don't think he could in that field. Erebus, Stormforth, and um, fucking big white bitch. I forget her name. Ether. Big white, Heather, yeah. big white bitch. <laughs> yep, that's her very name now. Big white bitch. All right, well, big, uh, that was anti hashtag big white bitch. Yep. Oh, get another duel. Bear back. All right, we found falling fast again. Now he's at thirteen eighty eight because his opponent just left and got agent zero at nine forty nine. I wonder who's playing agents. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have a friend that plays agents. Like, oh. loves that deck. Oh like, no. Oh, what's going oh, on here? No. Oh no. Um, does it have to be a tuner and a non tuner? Um, it's a tuner and a non tuner. Um, um, wow, and he quit! Oh my god, oh, oh, fast falling. Oh, he quit. I thought, yeah, I thought he, Agent Zero quit. I was like, you can't do that. And yeah, he probably realized that he can't do that one's like, alright, I'll just scoop. Yeah. Because otherwise, put, that would be trash. I'm gonna put money on it right now. Bet you. Bet you. In less than a year, in a year, Ultimate Zulkin is going to get banned. I'll bet you. <laughs> less than a year? Yeah. I'll bet See, you. Ultimate Zulkin is going to get banned. <laughs> I don't even know what this card fucking does. Okay, it's let's broken. It. <laughs> uh, sending two level five or higher monsters. Same level to the graveyard. One tuner, one non tuner. and cannot be special. So once per turn, when a spell trap is set, and the damage up. You can special summon one power tool synchro monster. What? Power tool or level seven or eight dragon synchro monster from your extra deck. Oh, anything? Anything. Beal, oh, that's so Void good. Over, crystal math. <laughs> that's so good. That is. Like I said, I will bet you that that card is going to get banned in a year. <laughs> Cause it's just, like, it's just like Patola Miles. It gives you access to plays you're not supposed to be doing. If you want to make crystal exactly. meth, if you want to make crystal meth, do it properly. But no, fuck that. I'll just fucking make Ultimaya set a card. Set a card? <laughs> set one. Please set a back row. <laughs> and then, of course, you have to make sure that it blocks itself. Uh, as long as you have a Synchro Monster, it cannot be targeted by effects or by battle. For battle. If you have another Synchro Monster on the field. So dumb. So then the crystal meth will then protect the... The, the ultimate to Zulkin. And then next turn you set another card and then summon another uh, Dragon Synchro Monster. <laughs> oh my god. And you know That's what's- so yep. I never read it before. Like I never actually, mm -hmm. you know, sat down and read it. Like, and you know what's real, you know what's really dumb? If you summon what? two of them, then 
They oh, protect they each. Yep, they protect each other, and then you set one, and they both go off. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Because they contain so to each other. Two yep. Just because you set one card. Yep, and then they're like, "Oh, well, what are you gonna do?" The only way you can really get it, handle that, because they'll supposed to be like a crystal meth, and then have two ultimate Tazokens that touch each other. You'll be like, "Okay, well, how do I deal with that?" I guess I gotta get Regeki. Oh, wait, I can use ultimate Tazokens summon Stardust. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, eight dash. Eight dash. Ta da! I am recording. <laughs> I'm ham. Hello? How many is I'm ham? You better say Hello? hi. I'm gonna keep it up. Okay, hi, Mom. Hi, Sadie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and uh, wow, we were just talking about it. Yep, there you go. That's so stupid. Yep, Ultimate Tazokin set a card and Crystal Math. God, crystal meth's expensive. Thirty. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> this game's too expensive for my taste. All right, go ahead. Catch this Twin Twister boy. Oh, it's also Monarchs. Monarch is a Monarch mirror match. What the fuck? Damn <laughs> win. All right. Which one are you chaining? <laughs> you gonna go ahead and forbidden chalice and negate your own crystal meth effect? <laughs> God damn, <laughs> So yeah, I can definitely see this card getting banned. Whether it be OCG or TCG, I'm not sure. Because I know OCG's been busting it out like crazy. Yeah, OCG. I I would love to play OCG. Like, they just don't give a fuck about nothing. They're always coming up with something crazy. Mm -hmm. Like GoFu and Monarchs? Like, wow, that's really good. You know that... Come up. You know that Blackwing Gofu one, the new one that when it's you can special summon if you control the monsters and get two tokens, but it can't sync with on the field. Yeah, it's like okay, I can't. Okay, that's fine. I'll just tribute them. Yeah, you can tribute. No, they're straight up. They'll summon Gofu, get the two tokens, and then tribute the Gofu for cross. Pop the two tokens, draw two. Ooh. <laughs> it's like oh wow. <laughs> and then of course Gofu <laughs> is a level five tuner with Prime. <laughs> There's Ultimate Tazoken right there. <laughs> uh, we'll just rank fives once I'm done using this. Thanks. Yeah. At least it's dark and not light. Uh, you get access to plenty of these too with that. Oh, yeah. And that would just be way too good. Yep. So. Okay. So you're going to go ahead and summon your Prime? That's what it's looking like. Did he even use the Stormforth? Did he search? I s Did he activate it? I think he activated yeah. it and he's training Prime. Which would be, I mean, this would be easy to handle. So, special summon Red Layer, then tribute the the Crystal Meth and your Red Layer for a Monarch, and then you could simply run over the Ultimate to Zulkin. There's nothing protecting it, there's no Synchro Monster. The card is not called Crystal Meth, it's called Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, but we call it Crystal Meth. Because <laughs> that's better name. <laughs> I had a, I had an old like Crystal Beast deck on uh, on DN, and I just called it Crystal Meth. Oh <laughs> God! Fuck. Oh God. Okay, so he's gonna tribute summon, and then I'm gonna tribute summon your tribute summon for my tribute. I'm I'm lost. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Yep. Doesn't the effect still go off? Yes, it does. Yep, yep, yep. So go ahead and wow. Get rid of the Ether. That's surprising. Do you have some way of getting rid of that Ultimate Tazoken, though? Because that's the last thing you need for him to do, is just set a card and then bust out another dragon. Maybe a Bills, maybe a, a Michael. Like, there's so many things you can summon. You can summon Black Girls with that. Yeah, but it wouldn't give us a fight because it doesn't cause a Synchro Summon. Oh, yeah. You can summon Moonlight. Yep, there's some Moonlight. I really have to go back to put Prime on the board. Come on, dude, fuck. Seriously, I just, I just do the token. <laughs> the end's not broken. Like, no, no, it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and get that search. Plussing. For the sake of plussing. Oh my god. Why did they not hit that card? Stormforth or Pantheism? I think they should hit both. I would be fine with both. <laughs> I used to be like Domain, well, but Extra Deck Monarchs, I mean, they don't even use Domain like that, so. That extra deck monarchs only plays like one domain. It's like, oh, okay, I mean, I guess. Yeah, I mean the reducing level is still fine. Give him pantheism. He's giving 
Get them? Nice. I guess he's like, fuck it, I'd rather you draw. <laughs> Alright, go yeah. ahead and play it. Search. Yeah, yep. I'll use it, that was smart. Alright, so who's next? Ah, Michael, you because you can. <laughs> it works, what? Oh my, it works on your sets too? Yeah. When a trap card is set, I thought you meant like, no. What? Period. When a spell or trap card is set to your side of the field. Oh my god. And you know what's cute? You know what they actually do with Ultimate Tazokin? That's actually kind of cute. That's so cute. No, no, no. You want to know cute? You know Boy. what they, 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 they use Scrap Iron Scale Crow. What? That's yep. so cute. <laughs> yep. So you'll attack. They'll be like, Scrap Iron Scale Crow, block your attack. Set. It set. Summon. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Agent Zero was left. Oh Wait, Agent Zero was left? Yeah, apparently freaking Falling Fast left. Like, Falling Fast, what the hell? He had total control it's of that total game. Total control. All right. Yeah, he must, he Did he, like, sense. disconnect or something? Like, you still on Falling Fast? There's no way you just leave. Is he's, he still online? Is, yeah, he's still online. What the hell? I don't know. Well, that's lame. God, now we got to get another duel. Damn it. We are back again. All right. Uh, we tried to drill falling, but he <laughs> he logged off. So. All right. He's logged off. We're watching pendulums now. And <laughs> so, I like, I actually like the pendulum deck. I personally don't know how to play it, hey, but I like watching the interaction. I mean, it's uh, available for a league. I I hope I can get it. Uh, no one has selected it yet. I'll have to learn how to play it pretty quickly, but I mean, fuck, well, whatever. It's really surprising. Uh, yeah, people, Draco Pals has actually won the decks. And I even went back a list. So you have three face-off and three Ignister, and no one's selecting that deck. <laughs> okay. Because with three three Ignister and all that shit, I, I think I can get away with misplaying a couple times, because I probably will. <laughs> we have the British hero here at 1462, but uh, over 11. <laughs> so much no. experience. And you must have known. Yeah. 1593, and of course, Domain Monarch. So, I mean, he's already summoned something from the extra deck. All right. Karaz. Are you going to break rule number one and rule number two of Yu Gi Oh? No, you're not even going to get the opportunity to do that. Get striked. <laughs> you don't get a chance, homeboy. <laughs> I saw your video. <laughs> And you're like, and you're like, roll one of Yu-Gi-Oh. Enjoy. <laughs> what was Enjoy it? Enjoy with your. Enjoy your fight. Always... I was like, that's not rule number one of Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If I put rule number one, then people will watch it. Yeah, but that's not rule number one. You got, you got to know, because some, cause some things like Karaz break rule number one and two. That's true. All right, rule number one in Yu-Gi-Oh. Never let your opponent draw. Rule number two, never <laughs> let your opponent draw. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what they're playing. You Valor the fuck out of that Karaz. <laughs> they know they'll them... pop their own shit or they'll pop your shit, but damn. Uh, you got a cowboy in there, sir? Damn. Don't play one day. Go ahead. Please. Cowboy this man. Play. Uh, I... oh, does he actually play cowboy? If he actually play cowboy, I will actually edit in the song. I will do it. <laughs> If I remember. Oh, oh you bet. You, you were just bluffing to try to get him to quit? I thought that... I mean, I probably would have quit, too. I you, thought that was a cowboy. You son of a... You dirty British bluffer. That cow, If he would have went cowboy, I would have... Why had, are you calling him admin? Why are you calling him admin? Why? Because he said cowboy? He's scared. I mean, he could say whatever he wants. For all you know, he's just speaking gibberish. Just... Cowboy, and? As long as he doesn't summon it and use the effect, like, okay. <laughs> I thought he was going to call the admin because he said cowboy, but didn't go into cowboy. <laughs> I was like, he doesn't have to go into cowboy. But next time, don't try. Don't try what? To trick me? Oh, shut the... He's acting how like do you know? How do you know he's trying to trick you? For all you know, he just felt like, nah, I don't feel like going into cowboy. I'll give you one more turn. You don't know unless you actually see his extra deck. Unless you fucking bust out a, a, a winter cherries, then how do you know? 
the only joke in how bad do you think I am? Like, damn. So I guess it's bad to play cowboy. Cowboy. Hey, fuck you. I love cowboy. <laughs> I won so many cowboy. Bills. So good. So good. It's good for this situation game, right here. Game. Not really. Warning. Warning. Something. No. Okay. All right. Warning. Another cross. I don't know where you're going with this. You got another strike, British? Yes. Why is that card at three? Strike this man. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him. That was a... He opened up with a pretty fucking good field. Oh, he opened up fantastic. Pendulum summon, your scale set, you got the sorcerer, multiple strikes. Like, OP didn't even stand a chance. You should call an admin and say, you, should, you should call the police and tell them that freaking British hero <laughs> raped you, man. Like, you didn't get to do got, shit. Hey, um, I just got raped, so. Uh... <laughs> he striked me twice in a row. I didn't get to summon any monsters, use any effect. I didn't do anything. <laughs> the fact that I'm playing two Karaz shouldn't be, you know, taken into consideration, but. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's that kind of that's freaking me out a little bit. I, it's kind of it's kind of weird to see it in not extra deck monarchs. In extra deck monarchs, I could probably see that a little bit more, but here, no, because they don't play like the multiple. They don't play the return that they don't mind popping the domain. I mean, the uh, the. Uh, I mean, if you pop your own domain. I mean, I guess the multiple primes. So is he crossed that many times? It's, it's interesting. I'm glad he got. Got fucking solemn strike. Yeah, that, that, that deck is totally susceptible to, to multiple solemn strikes. It's to the point where monarch players, you should just main deck twin twisters because you gotta get fucked up. <laughs> I actually played against a monarch player that main double twin twister mm -hmm. just for shit like that. Yeah, because that oh, shit will happen. Damn! Jesus Damn, British! What? Either your hand was booty or you just like, fuck it. <laughs> I'd rather go first. I, yeah, I think he was kind of just like, fuck this. Like, you already know he's going to get it. Freaking, uh, freaking Ariris is going to pick something out of his hand and shit. Like, first turn of Erebus sucks. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> get out yeah, of my British hand. Yeah, probably like, man, fuck this, dude. I'm, I don't have time for this. I mean, they used to play, what, Mega Sonatos? But they stopped playing him. They're just like, yeah, Erebus and, and Ather. I just need to, if it ain't in the freaking Monarch Structure deck, I don't need it. Except for, I guess, Cross. Which Karaz went that from went from booty to not that bad in like because just because of Ether. Yeah, Karaz after you jumped up in price like pretty quickly. Cause it, she, it gets its effect off of Ether. Cause when it's special summon, cause Karaz when it says when it's normal summon or special summon, unlike other monarchs, it's just like hey tribute summon. So you if Ether was not a card, then Karaz wouldn't be anything still. Yeah, true. <laughs> All right, so British hero, go ahead and go off once again. You kicked the shove in the first duel, kind of scooped it up in the second duel. Scooped it up, yeah. Now he's gonna get his sky iris, and I would, I want to say that he has, he has to have a broken ass play. You don't just search sky iris. That's not the first thing you do unless you're gonna go off. Yeah. <sighs> what? You just sky worried iris. that he'll ghost over snow rabbit you? Uh, well, I mean, yeah. Oh, 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 he popped it with Sky Hours. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, wait, eccentric effect? <laughs> like, I'm so lost. Like, what do you mean eccentric effect? <laughs> yep. Oh, um, Donkey is so good. Yep. Ah, and Sorcerer. And then Pendulum oh, Summon Sorcerer. And then Pop 2, and then Search 2, and then they should have hit Sorcerer. They really should have hit Sorcerer. You think they should have hit Sorcerer over Joker? No, I mean, they should have hit both of them. <laughs> <laughs> fair, that's fair. Yeah, like, OCG did it way better. They banned Monkey Board and hit Sorcerer to one. On top of what we did, like... <laughs> like, they banned Monkey Board, and like, alright, I see you. Yep, yep. None of that shit going on. He's Look about to go fucking ham. Look at him, like he hasn't already. This man has went kosher on his <laughs> opponent. Like, holy crap, do I learn him? Color. I guess. For pan I guess pantheism? 
Phantasm Prime I, idea, I know. Is he really that scared? I mean, Dweller, uh, Dweller is literally shot up to the second most played uh, rank four. Go ahead and train your effect, I guess. Wow. Pantheism for Pantheism. Yep, so there He's you go. He continues to go Dweller terminate. That's probably a strike back there, too, because we already know he plays two. There's no point in playing two if you're not going to play threes. I think some people only play two. They feel like it's not worth the life points, and it's kind of cloggy at three. So I, I see people, plenty of people, play two strike, one warning. Two strike, one warning. Ooh. Ooh. Magic deflector? Okay. <laughs> Magic deflector? That'd be cool. <laughs> okay. Now go ahead and flip up that... uh. Ooh, ooh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Domain effect, big white bitch, yep. Yep, go ahead and drop her down to six. Tribute Joe shit. Big, white, big bitch. white Damn, if you can't get her off the field, you can't even summon from your extra deck, goddamn. Wait, wait a minute, 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 did you not activate her effect? Why didn't he activate the oh. effect? Fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> What the fuck? He's gonna get Dougie? No. No. Wow. I see. He doesn't. If that was a, if that was a strike, then he loses his. Uh, oh. His tribute summon. Okay. He's playing I, around strike now. You know what? I, I, you know, I see you. I see you. I mean, you shouldn't be such a pussy, OP. But uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's scared of it. He's he's seen double strike already. Now he's like, oh fuck. So that's not. I mean, that's pretty good right now. Lock him out of the that. extra deck. That was a smart play. I'll that was a smart that. play. I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was a good play. Was but good. and what sucks is he, what where British hero fucked up. Was the monkey board already on the board? No, he should have kept it in his hand. He did. He just played it right now. Yeah, but if he oh yeah, he could he could attribute some and then been out of domain. Been, yeah. Um, okay, so, I guess for the resolution of the summon drop back, see? Because you can't really... Never mind, I guess it uh, uh, doesn't work like that, and you're a cheater, but... Hell no, I wouldn't let him draw shit. No. That is, fool, that is an inherent summon. I had to argue with some bitch at a fucking Yu-Gi-Oh tournament about that. Hell no. <laughs> yeah, he could have just tribute summon... Summon, tribute summon for the monkey board, then he would have been able to go ham. Yep. I could put, I actually forget about that at times. The whole tribute summon on your side thing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, it's tough. To British, what are you going to do? I mean, I guess you can play bitch-made pendulum shit and just keep on pendulum summoning five fucking months. I hate the pendulum mechanic. <laughs> that's, what, that's exactly what he's about to sit here and do. Seriously? I can already see it. Just pendulum There's summon five? Up. Because he's a little bit too slow. OP is a little bit too slow with Monarchs to handle all of that. I mean, for goodness sakes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's nothing here. Except for, yeah, just play fucking defensively. Just, yeah, that would have been great. If you would have tribute summoned for that freaking monkey board. Then you yeah, could have pinched him. He would have been fucked. Well, no. It wouldn't have been that good because he dropped Maxi. But it still would have been better than what he's got on the board right now. True. But I can't believe freaking OP just dropped that Maxi after the Pendulum Summon has already gone through and then drew. Like, I wouldn't have let him draw. I'd have been like, put that fucking card back. Like, yeah, <laughs> not sure. Hell no. You're about to make me break rule number one and rule number two. Like, you didn't play that properly. Don't draw. Take the neg. I wasn't fucking planning on special summoning for the rest of the turn anyway. I'd have been like, nope, put that fucking shit back. Ain't no way in hell, dude. You fucking back. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So if I'm playing Pendulum in the the tier league, you motherfuckers try to max Z after I've already Pendulum summoned. We ain't having that. You no, that no, shit back. Man. I would straight up call it too. <laughs> Me and no, Sansi will be watching. Put it back. You can't, <laughs> you can't do it. <laughs> I mean, once the scale is activated, because I always say that whenever I'm playing a Pendulum deck at like a tournament or locals, I'm like Pendulum scale activate. Good response. No, it's fine. All right, pendulum summon back seat. Draw like no, 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 no. <laughs> oh. 
no, 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 I said the only problem with the whole like stalling is that you can't summon the monsters in your extra deck. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. British hero, I mean, where's that red gek guy? He needs like he would probably side Regek what would a pendulum player side against domain monarchs? Regeki, twin twister. Um Oh, he's about to attack over it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's about to tie with. The pendulum monster performed by monsters pendulum monster attack failed. All performed by monsters you control gain. I was gonna attack until the end of the turn. Yep. So you're gonna go up to a 2800 with Skull Carbat Joker and tack over his ass. Damn, sorcerer, you, you a son of a bitch. <laughs> bitch, man. <laughs> you fucking Dante in disguise, asshole. Wait, you couldn't summon a you can summon up another performer, pal. Are what the fuck? Are you shitting me, British hero? Negus, you have so many ways of getting out of this situation, and you're just kind of sitting here doing nothing. Like, go on, man. It's, it's... I know I'm not reading the effect wrong. If a performer pal monster is pendulum summoned to your side, oh, he didn't pendulum summon anything. Did he not have any pendulum? I guess maybe he didn't have any performer pal monsters to pendulum summon in his hand. You can't summon from that. Damn. <coughs> Damn, you're just I'm letting a... this man come back on you, man. Uh oh, now he's about to start searching shit. Yep. And that means that he dodges strike. Because you already know. That's the one thing that saves monarchs from strike is that return. Because they can go chain link one, their effect monster, chain link two, return. And then, of course, strike has to be the direct chain to the monster. Yeah. So you can't strike them. So Nessa looks like exactly what's about to go down. Yeah, about to start going See, in. and this is why you shouldn't just quit that second duel, British hero. Like you, you could at least try. <laughs> yeah, you could have did something. There's, there's no way his hand. Well, I don't want to say there's no way. His hand couldn't have been that ass that he couldn't have at least tried. That doesn't even sound right for Draco Pals. Yeah, like you brick. Draco Pals can brick. But they never really like brick, brick. Mm -hmm. They don't usually brick that hard. They just fucking scoop. God damn! And OP has built up resources right back up again. The yeah. British hero over there is yeah. you're drawing cards. You got 18 cards off in your deck. I guess you're just waiting to get Regeki. He's probably yeah. He's probably spinning until he gets Regeki or like. Even a fucking twin twister would be fun right now. All the all the unprofessionalism right now, all of them pop ups from uh from Discord for League. <laughs> Discord wonder, is pretty fucking. Yeah, Discord's nice. One do not describe on Skype, but Discord nah. It's just like that other video where you kept on popping up in my video. <laughs> <laughs> Discord, I like that. Add me on Discord, everyone. Is it token, token black? You feel black? Of course. <laughs> okay, so you. I am so confused. Op, what are you doing? Like, tell me when you're doing something, because I'm just kind of sitting here watching you, and you're not doing anything. Tell you already you activated Pantheus on this turn. Okay. Hey, Prime. We're getting somewhere. Look at that. Doesn't matter if they're extra deck monarchs or domain monarchs. Monarchs are monarchs, and they're gonna kick the shit out of you. <laughs> they're so oppressive. Who thought that was a good idea? Man, fuck domain. But he can't, like, like he has domain, ether, prime, but he's not doing anything. Mm hmm. Go ahead and play that return. Go ahead and tribute them. Alright, monarchs on fourth, yeah. Activate your return. Tribute summon your shit and his shit. Activate your effect. Chain return. Dodge the strike. Like. Okay. Ooh, Valor. Okay. I like that. Mm -hmm. So, 
Still speed. gonna get the yeah. search for turn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the search though. Yeah. Still in deep shit, but I'm just hoping that maybe he could draw into a Regeki. Draw into a Regeki and jump the shit out of him with a pendulum summon. Maybe it's like a drowning mirror force or something. Nope. Okay, never mind. I tried. Well, that has to be a direct attack. Oh, wait, yeah. Wait, Cross can't attack. Yeah, Cross can't attack. Does it activate the effect? They go through? Wait, no. Karaz can... This card cannot attack during the turn as normal summon spell. If you veil it, then it can? Or is that a condition? Yeah, it's it's even, even though it was veiled, it's still normal summon, so you shouldn't be able to attack. I believe so. I believe that's a condition. Then. Whatever. Oh well, dude. British Hero just wants to fucking lose. <laughs> Alright, so... Okay. Okay. I, I guess you're just waiting to draw into something? Like... It looks like he's just thinning, but I mean... Is your hand really that ass that you have nothing to get over this in... You've gone through half of your deck already? Mm-hmm. You're like, wow. I want to know what these two aggro are. Seriously, I'm assuming one of them is Strike. But I don't know the other ones. Holy crap. Like, OP is actually catching up and kicking the crap out of you. Yeah, that's nice. You go ahead and freaking pen some of those cards from your hand, but they're just going to go, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um. Um. Your scales? Oh, we have an eight and a six. How the fuck did you summon them fours? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? How did okay? You're gonna quit anyway. I'm like, how the fuck did you freaking pendulum summon level fours between your scales are between six and eight? All right, all right. That's that's not look like sevens to me. <laughs> he quit because he couldn't draw a side deck card. No, you should have quit because you fucking making illegal plays. <laughs> Damn. Get him. <laughs> all right, then we're done. <laughs> so I hope. Yep. We're getting it together. Uh, it's nice and organized, and hopefully we'll be starting sometime, uh, if not the 2nd of July, the 9th of July. So look forward to that. So And also look forward to talking about you guys joining uh, Season 2. Uh, be sure to head over to... <laughs> be sure to head over to his channel. Link is in the description. Check out his videos and hit that subscribe button. So you have anything else to say? Uh, fucking exactly what he just said. Fucking hit that subscribe button. Uh, let's fucking do it, man. <laughs> 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 All right, people. Thanks for watching.